This is my new ride. Oh. It's pretty good. Hello, everybody. So, I'm sure many of you already know this, but the Shaggin' Wagon is dead. Even after many painstaking hours of trying to repair it. It is 100% uh, fucked, uh, like my social life. So, this is the story of the death and rebirthing of the Shaggin' Wagon. I know, it sounds super fucking gay. I mean, I made a trailer about this shit. Got some hail damage on it for cheap stuff. Mostly because I was lazy and needed to whore out some views, but anyways. It all started one rainy morning. Well, it wasn't really raining. I'm just a fucking fag and try and make things sound cooler. Come to think of it, it wasn't even morning, so. Anyways, I was backing out of my garage, and as I got to the bottom of the driveway, I heard a loud clunking noise, so obviously that's not a good thing. Uh, I kept going, and I got about, I don't know, a fucking fourth of a mile down the road from my house, and I heard even more loud clicking, clunking noises. I as demonstrated in this uh, dramatic reenactment. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> What the fuck happened? After that, uh, I, I couldn't go anywhere. Uh, my car was dead. Uh, I then tried reverse to see if it had reverse, and it did, sort of. Uh, every time you turned, it would go in and out of reverse, so I, I, I managed to get myself home in reverse, so I kind of looked like even more of a retard than I normally do. So I immediately went home, tried to kill myself as usual, and then put the car on Craigslist to get rid of it. A lot of people are wondering why I didn't fix it. Uh, I paid $700 for this piece of shit, and I wanted a new car anyways, so that's why. My listing on Craigslist was, uh, an interesting one. It was 100% truthful and described the car, uh, perfectly. Let me just give you a little preview. The interior is in okay shape, and by okay, I mean the headlining is falling off and the seats are ripped to hell. It has an awesome custom paint job done with rattle cans. All the overspray on the windows is a really nice touch. The car is super fast compared to a horse. I'm Asking twenty thousand dollars, but I'll take two hundred. Please only text. I'm too lazy to talk on the phone. Penis. So yeah, I, I feel like uh, well represented the car in my ad. Seeing as it is Craigslist, uh, I immediately got hundreds of spam text. This guy happened to message me while I was bored. Obviously, I'll I'll do my best to blur out th the number. Uh, unfortunately, my best isn't very good. Cause fuck this guy. I pretty much just spammed him, telling him to kill himself, and then I sent him a, a picture of my middle finger. Uh, continued to tell him to kill himself for quite a while. Then I just spam die, 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 die. And he, he never responds. And actually, let's do this one more time. There. Just, just for good measure. And again, I'll do my best to blur out the number because we wouldn't want the spammer getting spammed. That would suck. Now, the shaggin' wagon's not the only thing I put on Craigslist. I also put my Xbox One on there because I bought it and played it twice and never touched it since. And just to clarify about my last video I made about the Xbox One updates, um, all the consoles suck. They're all shit. And you should probably just buy a PC even though they suck half the time too. Everything fucking sucks, so get over it. Jesus fucking Christ! God damn it! Eventually, the Shaggin' Wagon did sell. I sold it for 160 bucks to some guy that's gonna put twin turbos in it. So, the Shaggin' Wagon's going on to live a better life, I guess. I mean, a, a life without me is always a better th fucking life. Oh, and the Xbox is going to some college kid that had his Xbox stolen from his dorm. So, there's that, if you were interested. I'm sure you've fucking weren't. So, then I had to search for the replacement of the Shaggin Wagon. My standards were pretty high on my new car. I wanted to finally have a somewhat decent car, because my entire life I've had cars that were under a thousand dollars. If you guys didn't know, I actually had two of the exact same Shaggin Wagon. I bought one several years ago for nine hundred dollars, and it was the same color, same year. It's the same, same fucking car. Uh, here's a picture of it. So, yeah, it, it was the same thing, and then it broke. So, I bought another one, and now it's broke. So, my standards were pretty 
pretty high, even for me. So it had to be a wagon, of course, and it had to be fast. Uh, so those two things already make it difficult. I was pretty much limited to the Audi S4, the Audi S6, the Dodge Magnum RT, or a Volvo V70R. Now, seeing as pretty much all of those were way too fucking expensive, and half of them were extremely rare and hard to find, it was uh, pretty much impossible to find a good one. And when you did, you call the person and the conversation would go a little bit like this. Uh, yeah, I was calling about the car you have on Craigslist. What? The car on Craigslist. What? You, you want to suck my dick now? Yeah. Alright, good. And then they just tell you it's sold and you go fuck yourself. But eventually I found... The, the perfect car. It had low miles, it was fast, it was a wagon, it was beat to shit by a hailstorm. I mean, just a perfect car. It was listed for $6,000, so I immediately called the guy and asked him if he'd take 5000 for it, and fortunately he wasn't a, a retard and said he would take 5000 So then, of course, I thought I probably should have offered him less, but I'm fucking stupid, I guess. A few nights before we actually went and got the shagging wagon, we decided to do a drunk stream to help whore out some more money for it. And, of course, once again, that got uh, a little out of hand. Oh, we Guys. already paid off him! <laughs> Right, I feel this comment left by uh, a viewer describes it best of all. So, yeah, uh, if you haven't watched it yet, I made a highlight video of all the best moments of the stream yesterday. So, there will be a link for that in the description, I guess, if I'm not too f f fucking lazy. But, this is a quick recap of, of what went down that fateful night of cancer. Broadcasted live to 2,000 people, actually. Why the fuck would 2,000 people watch that? I don't even know. We started off strong, because right off the the bat, we broke one of the Twitch terms of use, which was apparently joking about a live suicide. I think live suicide tonight, guys. I think no, live suicide. We don't disappoint here at official Cancer Studios. And the crazy thing is, even Pegasus showed up for this. A lot of you don't even know who Pegasus is, because he didn't show up for fucking anything. Uh, we quickly found out why he showed up. I'm actually, I'm really bored right now, so I'm making a short film about being bored on a Friday night. Uh, most of the stream was just me screaming when I got a kill. I'm gonna get this guy. Oh! Oh! I killed someone! Why? Oh! Oh! And of course, some good old fashioned fort building. I mean, that's just tradition at this point. That's a fort! That's a fucking fort! And then I decided to uh, get the vacuum and give myself pleasure with a, with a vacuum on stream on Twitch, where, where they stream vi video games. I, I streamed a vacuum blowjob, so there's there's one reason to follow me on Twitch, I guess. Oh my god, I can vacuum my dick! Oh! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We might only stream once every eight months or so, but when we do, we get blowjobs from vacuums. Uh, then we decided to generate some more, uh, revenue to start singing for every donation. Actually, I don't think there was really a decision there. Uh, I think it was just drunkness. Oh, man, <laughs> And of course, all of you guys' donations and in-game mics were just spewing racism. It wouldn't be a Twitch stream without it. I can't oh hear you. Oh lordy fucking lord, let That's me drink all that bleach, baby bitch. Twist niggers, heads off niggers, fucking stink niggers. Ah, goddammit, the play that song, so I gave you the hand for it. And we ended the stream with me pretty much passing out on stream and Kevin sliding around the house. It might be a uh, stream ending time because uh, we're yeah, both very yeah. fucking drunk. Yeah, I think it is stream ending time. Oh my god, I'm scooting across the ground. Don't. I, <laughs> what? I can't control it. I'd say it went pretty well for a drunk stream. Uh, maybe we'll do another one in a few weeks or so. Probably not. We're probably just gonna keep doing them until we do finally get banned. And then we'll just do them somewhere else. So, uh, there's that. Anyways, uh, for those of you asking, I'm not gonna try and hide how much I made on stream. You can go add it up if you fucking want. But we made a little over a thousand dollars in donations. So, I mean, seriously, thank you for that. I know I'm an asshole all the time, but that's a lot of money. And I don't fucking deserve it. But the next day, uh, I had to get the cash out of my PayPal so that I could go get the car on Sunday. Th this was Saturday, by the way. And you have no fucking idea. 
how hard it is to get $5,000 cash out of a PayPal account in one day. Of course, the first thing I did was go to the bank and try and pull it out there, where they told me that my limit of cash withdrawals was $400. So I couldn't do it there. I tried calling PayPal and getting that raised, but apparently you can't raise that. But the lady at PayPal, uh, after she totally had phone sex with me, uh, that's 100% true. That happened. I get laid all the time. All the time. All the time. I get laid all the time. Uh, after that, she did tell me that I could go to Walmart and get cash advance there. So me and Joey decide to go do that after we make out. Uh, we get to Walmart. There's a huge fucking line at the money center of some interesting people. If you want to get drugs, I'd recommend just going to the money center at Walmart. There's bound to be someone who sells them there. Or you could just kill yourself. Anyways, we wait in line for about 30 minutes. And we finally get up to the counter and start the cash advance. What I didn't know is they actually did a money order and not a cash advance, which will be important in a second, which is completely the wrong thing. Uh, I might have been a dumbass and asked for a money order. I don't fucking remember. But anyways, they had to print out five money orders for $5,000. So it's $1,000 each. So they printed out four of them and then ran out of money orders on the fifth one. So the two people there didn't know how to change the money orders, so they had to go find someone who could do it. Uh, they tried to change it, ended up breaking the machine, so... We, we couldn't get it to do anything. They managed to void it, and it gave me my money back in my account. But then at that point, my car got locked up because of suspicious activity. So it was pretty much all fucked. We fucked the whole Walmart machine. They fucked my car. They fucked my pussy. Everything was just fucked. Uh, we were there for at least two hours, and we finally just left with no money. So yeah, that went fantastic. So then the next day, a few hours before we went to get the car, I went back to Walmart to try and do a cash advance and not a money order. And they were able to take out 2000 before it would stop letting them take out any more. Uh, it turns out it wasn't a problem with my PayPal. I don't know what the fuck it was. So then I had to borrow $3,000 from about four different people and pay them back in a couple days when I could transfer the money to my bank. So, I mean, it was, it was a pain in the fucking ass, but I, I need to stop bitching because at least in the end of it, I had a cat toy. Shagging wagon money. <laughs> also, I think it's kind of funny that a few days ago I was complaining and making fun of all those YouTube channels that show their cars and here I am waving a stack of money in front of a cat. I should just end this shitty cancer YouTube channel and jump off a bridge. Anyways, we finally got the cash and me and Kevin left to get the car, which was in Oklahoma City, which is about, I don't know, three hours away. Let's go get Shaggy Wiggy. There's a kid in the back of that truck! Oh, oh. That white fucking thing. Unfortunately, I did not charge the camera before we left so it was pretty much dead when we left and all I got footage of was Ebola Lake which apparently the sign looked like it said Ebola to me but I couldn't get a shot of it because the camera would just focus on the window here's your rare look at Ebola Lake oh man look Lake Ebola Kevin look at all the Ebola do you think we'd ever find that much Ebola in one spot Kevin am I right nah you're just retarded but anyways we finally got home with the car and well, it's, it's probably the best car ever. I want to have sex with it now. Uh, here's a quick tour of it. It's really shitty, but uh, here you go. Hello. A lot more room than the old shaggy wagon for phoning. One flaw, though. It doesn't squeak. There's a spot down here for weed and heroin and all that good stuff. Big ass wheels with some big ass brakes. Got some hail damage. So I got it for cheap. Super cheap. Super cheap. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so good. Fire her up. Copyright news, maybe. That's pretty much it for this video. I know it was a, a long piece of shit. It took me quite a while to make this, so hopefully you liked it. I doubt you did, but if you did, then uh, uh, please like it. And if you didn't, then just go ahead and dislike it. I'm gonna go murder myself now. Uh, thank you again for coming to the stream if you came to the stream. And thank you again for all those people who donated. I, I will never understand why, but it is appreciated. If I ever see you in person, maybe I'll stroke you off a few times. Oh, and to the guy who somehow found my Craigslist ad for my Audi. I then started texting me. Uh, what, what the fuck? Uh, how? I never told anyone about that ad. You found it. It's really weird.
And you called me during drunk stream. It's a, it's a little weird. Let's make out, all right? Just tell me where you want to meet. Text me and tell, and tell me where you want to meet. And I'll be there in the nude with a six pack of alcohols. And we can just make out and kiss while the sun goes down. And just have a good old time. I got a wagon. It's great. It's good for that type of shit. You can just bone hard fucking core. Oh, it's gonna be great. I can't wait, man. Uh, just hit me up anytime, BB.